How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you in our gameplay commentary. Today we're doing some analysis gameplay of the blackout mode in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. If you like these analysis kind of tips and tricks videos, please be sure to tap that like button. So let's me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your experience has been with the blackout mode. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy Call of Duty and Halo gameplay, make sure to tap that subscribe button as uh, you know we get to stay up to date with all the awesomeness on this channel. So in this situation here, I think I do a great job of utilizing the enemy team not thirsting anybody and walk away with three kills in this situation so let's get right into the gameplay here so right, right now we're trying to get into i believe this is the first new circle that's gonna come in i jump into the map right here in this area i see there's a guy using about 12 o'clock using height advantage and the ledge as cover i hear the guy's footsteps behind me but i'm not gonna worry about that at the moment the guy who's first shooting at us walks away i hear the guy's footsteps i try sh he starts shooting me he puts good shots on me i try backing down giving myself more cover so less myself is exposed to them I down that player. My teammate right over here, we're, in du we're playing duos by the way, gets down. I hear his footsteps. I'm going to try and go into this building where it's the most amount of cover for me. It'll create a little bit more confusion for the guy who just killed my teammate. And so then they can't figure out exactly where I am. They are 12 o'clock. I try to throw it. I see the bullets flying. I back off. I don't want to get in the middle of two people fighting. I figure, you know what? Let the uh, enemy teammates, you know, do their thing. Let them clean up. They'll do all the dirty work for me on that one. But they do end up cleaning up that guy I did down earlier. So that means I get credited for the kill on that one. So now I fall back. Try to use this ledge to my advantage right here basically i don't anticipate anyone coming from behind me i see these two guys right in front of me and then i do not instigate right away just because two guys on you is not a good thing to have happen to you so i try to hide in this bush i hear the footsteps happening just now i heard the enemy teammate you oh, you open up my uh, teammates back so i try to throw in a nine bang on him hope i can flash him no hit markers but surprisingly the guy still holds strong and is still looting the bag so i hit it one shot two shot with the mog Go for the melee when he's down. The mod will chew through ammo like nobody's business. I've two shot a guy with tier three armor before. Just saying. And I hear this other guy's teammate footsteps right behind me. He's following the exact path. I can hear him. I don't know how I missed that second shot, but we still got the kill anyways. Barely with 16 health left. Yikes. And that was the way we were able to utilize not th being th so thirsty to chase on every k possible kill you can get let the enemy team do the dirty work and also walk away with three kills now let's analyze this and break it down okay back again we're in the water here we're swimming with my teammate here well, let's go into third person and using the th theater mode in call of duty black ops 4 and try to see who else is around so obviously like i said we had the one guy who was over two look like two guys over here that were in this uh little shop area and then we have the cranky baker breaker guy over here that means that was the guy who was first started shooting us so let's kind of start in play see what happens here now obviously those two guys are still on that side of the map and now we're getting shot by that teammate over here i actually didn't realize he was that far away i figured he was actually kind of more like right here so that was actually pretty far distance i probably wouldn't have even bothered shooting if i would probably wouldn't even bother shooting my me if i was this guy right here because look at this advantage that i have right here of that Basically, like, I'm going to get into cover. He's maybe get one or two shots onto me. And then what he's doing is letting everyone else know in his position. We're in Rivertown right now. Super populated location, as you, as you can see right there. Like, it's going to get a bit crazy, especially in Rivertown. And so shooting right there probably wasn't the best move for that guy. Now, I, when I was walking in, I did hear some footsteps from these guys over here. I believe it was the Costa guy I did down. So let's kind of play a little bit further, see what happens. I jump to dodge the shots. I jump. I try to jump on top of this roof right here to get the height advantage. And now what happened is that since uh, Cranky shot, looks like that's his teammate right there, to real ninja. But then we also have the other guys are trying to flank around the outside right here. As you can see, since he fired the shots, he knows exactly where he is. He knows the general area, so he's gonna try to look check his left and check his right, see if anyone's around there. There's these two guys are definitely a, going to be in a cranky, crazy situation here, real quick, though. Uh, moving back on me, though, you can see that I instigated the fight with Costa because he kind of caught me off guard a little bit, but I was able to turn around and take him out pretty easily. As you can see, I'm you know falling back on this roof to give myself more cover. This guy is in a really good position, though. He should have had me really because he has had height advantage, he has cover. I should have been taken out pretty damn easily, but luckily that I was falling back and moving to the left a little bit, that I was able to dodge some of his shots and not get completely melted by his bullets right there. As you can see, now I was able to clean that up. 
Then we have Airborne Soldier. I'm going to call him Barry Soldier because I just dropped the E or, or dropped the R right there on that one. Those two guys are first starting to instigate the gunfire, so trying to figure out what they're going to do. Cranky kind of moves in. And then looks like he's trying to go in for the kill shot, but then uh, Airborne moves in on my teammate. My teammate was just kind of out in the open right here. He's not really using utilizing cover to his advantage. He should have really paid a lot more defensive since he knew that this was a very hot situation we jumped right into right. And was my teammate's game player because it really hurt me pretty bad with having him going down right there. And I will see what his mistake ultimately was. Uh, you can see that we definitely have the, the low ground, which is not good right there. He's trying to get a little bit of a height advantage up on top of this building right here. He's going to keep peeking and peeking. And look at the situation he's in right now. First of all, we're in the low, we have the low ground between all these gunfights, so I need to, we both need to be much more passive. But he's going to get super aggressive and try to charge forward. Now, also, don't forget, we're also playing late at night. I should also mention this. And when you're playing late at night, a lot of times you get a lot more players that use headsets, players that are better at the game as well because these are the diehard fans that keep playing, or the people that just don't like sleeping. <laughs> and so you can see he's running out towards, trying to flank around, and then he doubles back down for some reason. He actually had a pretty good advantage of pushing up like that but then he doubled back down i think it's because he i might have said like oh i got shot in the back i'm falling down he's probably coming back to help me but since he spent so much time circling out in the open he gets down right there and i just know i'm not gonna be able to help out my teammate i'm not going to be able to pick him up he's in a terrible situation he's going to get cleaned up as you can see right here gets him cleaned up right no problem right there i jump inside the building do the last cover you can see that airborne soldier this guy runs around, doesn't take much time. He knows that it's a hot situation, so he's going to just try to fall back. Smart move on his part right there. Cranky Breaker cleans with the guy I down, or he's about to clean up the guy I down earlier. Soldier gets downed because he's in a situation over here where he's just one tree cover, which is not very good compared to what these guys have. All this cover right here. They can utilize all these different locations. They can utilize, like, this guy where they only have one angle to look at this tree so he breaker just threw himself in a really bad situation i think if he probably played a little more passively he probably would have walked away with a little bit longer life maybe or probably played got, got a few more kills but you know whatever and so i hear a lot of gunfights i hear a lot of situations going on i'm just gonna fall back right now because i need to heal i need to reposition myself and forgot the, how to play this a lot better now, this is where I peek these two guys right here. I think they see me. One guy, I believe, yeah, one guy does see me, so I'm going to fall back a little bit, hide it in this bush, pull out my shotgun. I figured he was going to thirst me, but he just lays prone, surprisingly. I don't know why he didn't, like, throw anything at me or anything, so I throw a flashbang at to real ninja. I only hit the barn in front, so that was a bad toss, but... I'll take out the, the real ninja right there. Now, as you can say, like I said earlier, I can hear... Um, I cranky breaker come at me right here. I get the melee. Yeah, he's just chasing me completely. What he could have done is seen me going around the barn this way. And what cranky breaker should have done is gone around to the right side right here. Catch me off guard while I'm trying to run away. I can hear his footsteps. He's thirsting me. I'm going to jump on top of this little ledger here to get a little height advantage. A little bit more of surprise on him. And as you can see, like... Who's has a high, who has an advantage in this situation right here? I have a shotgun, height, and cover where he's out in the open like a little baby buffalo. I'm surprised I didn't kill him in that first shot. I surprisingly missed a second shot. I don't know how, but I was able to clean him up no problem. So as you guys can see, if you utilize a little more patience and not be so predictable in your movements, you might be able to pull off some moves a little bit and survive a little bit better and actually get more kills by not being so aggressive in Blackout. And playing aggressive and attacking is really fun in Blackout, trust me, I know I do the same thing. But you, sometimes you just need to be able to play a little more passive like I am in this clip right here where I'm just gonna, you know, let them make the mistakes, let them come to me, let the rest of the lobby do a lot of the dirty work for me where I can still try to isolate gunfights and so then I can walk away with some kills and stay alive and not take too much damage because right now as it is, the Blackout does not really necessarily reward aggressive gameplay because you cannot rebuild your armor 
and you'll lose you you utilize using up your heals. You'll lose ammo. You may be able to get some good pickups, but that's about it. So really, right now Blackout really does promote more passive gameplay, and that doesn't mean you'll hide in a corner the entire game. I'm just saying, pick and choose your fights. Like I see in this clip right here, I'm not trying to push the issue on these guys quite yet. You know, wait till the situation is in my favor before I go off and do anything crazy. So if you guys enjoyed this analysis video, please make sure to tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys thought about the video. If there's any way I can improve on it and make it better, I would love to see it in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything up to, going on on this channel here, make sure to tap subscribe as we upload awesomeness all the time to this channel. So I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have an excellent night. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.